We're going to go inside. We're going to get his financial information for your little credit card toy. Social security numbers, bank account numbers, routing numbers, it's all stored on hard copies in there in the record room. We just need a little code to get in there. Yeah, but we can't get in there with you looking like that. That's a great point. There's a way around that. Oh! Oh! oh. Are you okay? Oh, God! What is my it? What is it? My fibromyalgia! Oh, God, my leg is cramping up! What can I do? What can oh, I do? Oh, God, rub it! Rub, rub, rub it? it! Rub it! Rub it! Rub it! It's cramping! <laughs> oh, softer, softer, softer. Oh! Up. Higher, higher, higher! Higher. higher. A little higher. Oh, God, it's my glutes. Get in there. How is this helping you? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. oh get in there. All right, get off me. Get off me. It's gonna be a couple of offices. Oh, come on. Who's, who's this guy? That's accounts processing. That's the me of this branch. Come on. Oh, that shouldn't be any problem. No offense, but just yeah. keep your mouth shut. This will be over in a minute. Hi. Good morning. Tina. Van Weston. Garten. How are you? I'm fine. Can I help you? I'm here with my boss, Harold Cornish. We're in from Denver. Oh, I'm familiar with the name. I'm sure you are. We're going to need to get into your accounts room. Do you have an authorization letter? I'm going to be real honest with you. I fucked up. I just kind of completely blanked on that authorization letter. He, he basically runs me 24-7. He's Cornish. Is, he's a handful. I mean... Honestly, he's he's an asshole. Just a sec. How we doing over there? We doing good? You calling security? You better not be calling security. Hang up the phone right now. Oh, I wasn't calling security. Yes, you were. Hang it up. Right now. I'm sorry, but you're not allowed back there without authorization. I'm not, you're not allowed back there without authorization. I can do whatever the hell I want. I don't have to tell you that we suspect that there are some people at this branch that are doing some very, very bad things. And I don't have to tell you that I've been sent here to look very quietly at some records. Mr. Cornish, I don't mean any offense, but we have rules. I know you have rules. Like never backdate a 5590 or don't stamp a 33B transfer without telling a client first. I bet you do that one twice a month, don't you? Tanya, can you give us a minute, please? It's Tina, but see what I mean? What did I say? Yep, nothing. You said that. I have you at a disadvantage. You don't know me, but I know you can. I know that you make $49,395 a year. I know that you work very hard for that wife and child right there. I know that you're real good at your job, that you take care of this company, and you do things that they'll never know about, that they'll never appreciate, so you're very proud, right? But you're scared. You're scared because you're dispensable. You're scared because you know that more than likely one day, you're going to be replaced by somebody younger, somebody cheaper. Maybe even by an app. Here's what we can do, though. You can help me today. And someday I might be able to help you. 9488. Got it. Let me see it. This is it, right there. We got it. All right, that's what I need. Got it. 